I'm here today with a crepe myrtle that we planted about two years ago and we're looking to transplant this tree and move it to a new location. It's early fall and we've already had a um, significant freeze. So now that we've had a freeze, this tree is ready. What I'm going to do is we're going to take this uh, and this is a tree we planted about two years ago in our how to plant your tree video and I'm going to move it down the hill uh, to another hole that I've already dug and that holds about three feet across uh, by 12 to 16 inches deep. I want to make sure that there is enough room in that hole for this new tree. When I dig it up we're definitely going to end up taking some of its roots, losing some of its roots, and we're also going to be um, losing some of the dirt from those roots because there's no way uh, without a tree spade for me to get this um, tree down there with the dirt intact. So with a hand shovel, what I'm going to have to do is dig around it. I'm going to dig a fairly wide ring, um, probably about two feet on each side, so a four foot diameter hole. And then once I do that, I'm going to try to carefully excavate the roots, chop them back where I need to. It's okay when you're transplanting a tree um, to cut back some of the roots, but you want to minimize it. I mean, you're, you're going to have to because the roots will go out very far and you'll have to cut them off. You can cut them off with a sharp shovel. Um, and then once I've got that clump in there, that big clump of roots that I'll kind of shake some of the dirt out of it so I can move it, try to keep some intact around the base of the tree, just enough that um, Emily and I will be able to carry it down there. We'll re -put it, We'll put it back in the hole and then what we're going to do is uh, fill in back around it, plant it as if it were a new planting, cover it in mulch, and we'll see how it does. I think the big risk uh, for this tree and being transplanted is one, it, it is already fairly uh, good size. I mean it's short but it is, it's got some girth to the trunk. What could happen is it will lose uh, water through the winter and until those roots get established, it may lose some of these branches. They may die back uh, because uh, of it just losing water through the winter. So if that happens, we'll just prune it back. Um, it is a crepe myrtle, so it is amiable to pruning, and uh, we're going to hope that it takes. All right, so with that, I'm going to get digging. Okay, um, well, the roots that we got out turned out to be a little bit bigger than the hole we had. Um, so we expanded that hole a little bit. And we're just making sure that the plant um, is still at the root crown level as we put it in its new hole. And now we're just gonna kind of push those roots down in there and backfill. A couple of things to note. Uh, you wanna try to keep your roots wet once you dig your tree up. Um, even half an hour can do some damage. Uh, to exposed roots, especially if it's windy or sunny. In addition, uh, as you backfill your hole, you just want to make sure all your roots have a good uh, level with the soil. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And what we'll do after that is mulch, like any new planting. We're going to put a nice layer of mulch over it once it's planted, uh, two to three inches, uh, maybe a little more, especially just to prepare it for the winter. Pull that mulch back from the base of the trunk and then give it a good watering. And uh, that's all there is to it. So thanks and see you next time.